Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, I was going to go over what I did to dye this seat as the passenger side seat for my Mustang. You can see it came out looking real nice. Here's what she looked like when I bought her. Here's the driver's side. I also uh, have on there the later style headrest. These came out of a 97 GT. They'll be going in my 96 uh, V6. Uh, they definitely are a lot nicer of a seat and um, should work out really well. So let me walk you kind of through the steps I did and then you can dye your own seats. Yep, you're going to want to pull your seat tracks off all the way. This is the electric motor assembly for it, for the seat track on this particular seat. The passenger seat only had a mechanical seat track. Alright, so now you can see that the seat has been pulled down. I've got the base all the way off. I pulled the controls for the power seat off the front. And I pulled the little plastic piece off the side that covers this up. I can tape that uh, switch off when I go to, to uh, dye the vinyl on the side of the seat. Uh, let, me in, let me talk about that real quick and I'll show you what I need to do. But Ford in their ultimate wisdom put leather right here. So the main seat, the back, everything else, that's leather. The sides are a vinyl. So on the other seat when I went to dye it, um, I couldn't get the vinyl to take the leather dye and ended up having to dye it with a vinyl dye, which is just the duplicolor dupli vinyl and fabric uh, dye. Uh, it seems to work pretty well. So well, let me uh, do some cleaning on this and I'll show you what I do there. All right, so to start off with, with uh, cleaning the seat, what you're gonna need, you wanna get these blue towels, you know, just buy a couple rolls of them. It'll work out quite well. And I take a little isopropyl alcohol you know, you want to fold your towel up. Give it a good old soaking. Just buy it from wherever. I think I bought this at Walmart. And you just kind of work that seat clean. You're going to want to get all the grime off, any dirt, any of the protectant that's been sprayed on these seats over the years. You just clean them off. This is going to take you some time. It, the leather, if you can see right here, is kind of shiny, and then you can see, kind of, I don't know if you can tell, but after you've cleaned it, it goes kind of a dull color. So you want it as clean as you can get it with that dull color. You don't want it to be shiny, but you definitely want it cleaned up as best as you can. So I'm going to clean this up, and then we'll move to the next step. Alright, on to the next step. So... The uh, seat's been cleaned, and if you can tell, it's kind of got that dull color to it. Um, it got a lot of the dirt off and out of it. Um, you know, it's still a little dingy looking around the edges. But on the other seat, I got it to about the same spot, and it seemed to die fairly well. Um, what I like to use, I bought a pack of these uh, foam brushes. They don't hold up great, but they do fairly well. You know, you'll go through a few of them. Uh, these these kind of... These sizes are the ones that seem to work the best. Put these back over here. What I've done is I ordered off of Amazon these fiber, it, I guess it's fiber, fibings? I don't know. Black Pro Dye. Oh, you can't see it. It helps if you can see it. That fibings Black Pro Dye. Um, it, uh, it was like 20 bucks if I remember right. Um, and then again, we put it in the. Uh, a little uh, pan. Just use whatever you have. It works. I uh, use myself an old uh, pie pan here. And I've got kids playing in the background. But uh, pour it in there and you should be good. All right, here I'll show you guys how what I do on uh, coating this, and uh, you can go from there. So you know, take my brush, get a little bit of the dye on there. You want it good and saturated, but you don't want it too wet. And then just kind of bring it across the leather. Now, the nice thing about the foam is it gets into the cracks. You kind of bring it across the leather. You're gonna, it's going to run everywhere. It's really watery. 
believe there's alcohol in it. So that's why what helps it get into the pores. Part of the, the reason we cleaned it as well as we did is we wanted to open those pores up on the leather. So that way it'll accept the dye. Because this isn't like a spray on, you know, just coating type of deal. We're actually dyeing the leather. We're changing the color, you know, so that way it's not the tan anymore. But yeah, if you just watch it, just bringing it across. Come up and down, bring it across the leather. It's gonna run, like I said, it's gonna run everywhere. But uh, as you can see, it goes on pretty quick. And I think I did two or three coats on that other seat, and then it came out looking real nice when I was said everything was said and done. So just just work it in. Like I said, you want to make sure it's clean. The cleaner, the better. So, all right. Well, let me finish dyeing this and uh, let it dry, and we'll get to the next step. All right, so now to the next step. So um, you can see I've dyed the top also, which is the same process as dyeing the base. Um, but what I find when I'm doing this is that you hit a point with these where the dye doesn't seem to want to dry anymore. And so I like to go back over it with some alcohol and a, and a rag. And I've already started doing this with this one, um, but just to clean it again. And you're going to come across places like right here. There's a little spot there and there where you didn't get it clean very well in the first place. So I just, you know, douse up the old rag with the alcohol and then just go over that surface. You're going you're gonna to want to go over it fairly well. I mean, you're, you're cleaning off any of the excess dye that didn't go into it any of the uh, dirt that you might have missed, um, so on and so forth, you know, because you want this seat to come out looking nice. And if, uh, you know, you let it sit, things aren't, the colors aren't going to be exact. I mean, there's, you know, you're just kind of evening out, cleaning it up, and you're, you're going to be pulling dye off, which is fine. Uh, you know, it's opening the pores back up again, so on and so forth. So, so once you've got that done, you know, you're, Rags are over there covered in alcohol and um, dye. <sighs> kind of let the alcohol dry back up. And you're going to just want to grab a rag. And this is this is the part I like to use the rag on. Just take a rag. This has already been soaked because I already did the bottom, the base of the seat. But you can just kind of take, get some of your dye, and then just kind of start working it back into the seat. Um, this helps... You know, in my opinion, it helps create a little bit eat more even uh, coat. On those first couple of coats I like to do with the brush, helps get into all the crevices and cracks really well. And here is your evening coat. So you're going to just slowly work it in and get that dye into all those places that you might have missed. And to kind of even out that color and keep it that black. You know, because now that I went over it with the... Uh, the uh, rag with the alcohol on it, it took some of the dye back off, and so it's not as dark as it once was before I took the dye off. So you're probably going to want to go over this a few times. I think on the base I probably went over three or four, just working over the whole seat um, until you're happy with the way the color looks. And then you're going to just need to let it dry so you can tape it off and uh, dye the vinyl on the sides the uh, black, and you're going to need to use a uh, vinyl dye for that. So, just wipe this off my gloves so I can turn my camera off. Okay, yeah, you can see here how this one I just got done wiping this one down maybe 20 minutes ago, and how it's already almost dry. I mean, you look at the surface, and I don't see a bunch of wet on it anymore. Whereas when I, earlier when I was just brushing it on, like I said, it left a lot of streaky marks and a lot of uh, wet that was going to take forever to dry. It's like almost like the pores had closed and wouldn't take any more dye. So when I cleaned it again, it uh, opened the pores back up, lets us dye it again a little more. And now, uh, you know, it, I mean, it's pretty much dry. I can touch it and I'm not getting any dye on my finger. So... The key to doing this is cleanliness. So clean it up really well with the alcohol, 
coat it once, uh, uh, twice. Do your first coat, um, two or three layers of that, pretty heavy, and then what? And then let it dry for a while. Then uh, you're gonna want to uh, clean it back off with some alcohol. Clean it up really well. Get any of the extra dirt off, any of the extra dye that's hanging out on the surface. Then take a rag dip it in the dye and then wipe it on. And uh, you know, it, it seems to come out pretty good. So the next step I'll be doing, and I'll show you that in a minute, I'm gonna tape off all the uh, leather so I can dye the vinyl the black. So uh, let me show you that here in just a sec. All right, here is the seat after I'd uh, taped it off and painted the vinyl with the vinyl dye, you can see it's a little shinier than the leather, but you know what? That's all right. I did get a, a flat black, so I'm glad I didn't buy a uh, shiny, you know, a gloss black for the uh, vinyl dye. So, but she is looking pretty good. I'll get the other the seat top dyed and put it back together and kind of give a follow up on what we did. Okay, so here is the back portion of the driver's side seat all uh, vinyl dyed. Um, let me show you my tape job on the front. What I did, I didn't have any other paper. So I ended up using some wrapping paper for tissue paper, but you just, see I taped up the edges and then uh, made sure we dyed the vinyl and not the leather. So I'm gonna throw this seat back together. Um, It'll go back in the car probably tomorrow. I need to want to. I want to let it dry overnight at least before I get it in the car. Um, when I've got it all back together, I'll do a final portion of this video and uh, move on to the next one. Well, there she is, all done. All put back together, dyed this nice black color. I think it came out pretty decent for what it is. She ain't perfect. I mean, you can see there's some wear in the leather right here and it's kind of falling apart. So I think I need to get a leather repair kit and maybe re-dye through here. But uh, I'm gonna let it sit overnight and uh, put it in the car tomorrow. So, but you know, it, I think it worked out pretty good. Um, so the, the steps you kind of want to follow, make sure you clean it. As best you can without rubbing alcohol uh, you know disassemble it all the way down clean it with the rubbing alcohol when you think you're cleaned enough clean it some more uh, you want to get all the dirt grime grease any protectant that was on the leather off that leather so that way the dye will kind of soak into the pores um, then I put in a few heavy coats two three heavy coats you know it's gonna kind of run everywhere but uh, kind of gets it into all the little cracks and crevices that's my goal when I do that and I take, uh, after I've let it dry for a while, um, I'll take my blue towel, soak it down with isopropyl alcohol again, and then wipe the chair down and kind of go over it to kind of pull any of that remaining uh, dye on the surface that isn't drying off. Then I'll take and I'll go through with another towel and just dip it and soak it in the, the dye and then just kind of rub it into the, the leather. And that seems to work fairly well. It gives me a fairly even, looking surface. Um, and then, you know, just uh, reassemble it and then just take your uh, favorite uh, leather cleaner and leather protectant and just make sure you coat it and uh, you should be good. So, well, thanks again for watching the channel and uh, uh, hit that like and subscribe button for me if you like what you see. I'd be uh, grateful and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.